Welcome back to UK Knowledge Guru. In this video, I will show you how to fix the error when you are trying to assign CUS and you're getting an error that the CUS assign option is not open. So if that not open, you cannot assign CUS. So how to fix it? What can be the reason? So we will discuss that. So now I'm on. I'm already on the page where you can see the view CUS and we have like, you know, trying to assign CUS to skilled worker visa, ISC liable. Watch this playlist. I have showed all the videos, how to assign CUS, how to delete CUS, what are the differences between CUS and CAS. This play complete playlist will guide you. But in this video, I'll sh only show you that how to fix the issue on regarding the CUS. So obviously we on the page where it's giving me the information about skilled worker immigration category, CUS license number, sponsor name, CUS number, current CUS work in progress. So work in progress, obviously we are trying to assign. That's why the status is not being assigned. Otherwise it shows as pending. So current CUS status date, 15th March, 2025, uh, sponsorship withdrawn, no sponsorship note. So for example, if you have done a mistake, and you cannot fix a mistake. So for example, you have assigned in a different category and you're having some issues, then you will use this sponsor note to solve that problem. Further information, personal information, family, nationality, date of birth. So you can't change anything on CUS, but in sponsor note, you can add a note to explain the home office. So all the details are mentioned, but we are still, we can't assign the CUS. So why we can't assign the CUS, what mistakes we are doing. So usually the most common mistakes we do is if we don't put the salary properly. So 36,300.00. So if you put point, um, like if you don't put point and you put only 36,300 and you don't put decimal, then you cannot assign. Next mistake is summary on job client contract. So no, because obviously there is no contract. Tick to eligible job in an eligible occupation code. Yes. Tick to confirm if the job is on the current immigration salary list. No, many people do that mistake on the current immigration salary list. Let me show you the immigration salary list. So for that, we'll go on gov.uk and we will write skilled worker visa. In the skilled worker visa category, we will look for your job. Click on that, then it will take you to the list. So view the table of eligible jobs. Now, this is the table for eligible jobs. This is the going rate table. Now, this table is different. Going rate table will tell you about the, so if I click on it, if I open it, it will tell me the salary, which salary requirements should be there for what. So this is, this table name is skilled worker visa going rates for eligible occupation code. But the immigration salary list is different. So this table will only tell me whether I can work in the UK on that category or not. So for example, I'm allowed to work as chief executive, but I'm not allowed to work as, as elected officers and representative. So when it says no, that means you cannot assign CUS in that category. For example, officers in armed forces, army officers, uh, Royal Navy officers, so you are not allowed to work as a, on a skilled worker route on that. There are loads. It's not just that some of them are very, uh, for example, you are not allowed to work as cook. So that also comes from this table. Now, if we go back and go in the your job section, but in your job section, we'll go for the when you can be paid less. So at the bottom after this, when you can be paid less. If I click on it over here, if I go down, view the immigration salary list. So this is the question. Now, what does this mean? So obviously, if I click on it, if you can be paid less, then this is the salary list. So skilled worker visa, immigration salary list. So if I go back to my CUS, over here, you can see the immigration salary list. Ticks to confirm the job is on the immigration salary list. So if I click no over here, that's what it means. So this is important that we don't make that mistake. It's a very common mistake. Give the registration detail. So that's the registration detail. If you like, you know, certificate to maintenance is like you saying that to home office that you will provide for one month accommodation. So in that case, they don't need to provide that. Now we can't find any mistake. What mistake we are doing over here. And so we, we have checked the date. The date is fine. We have put the software developer. We have put uh, everything is like, you know, according to the uh, rule, but still we can't find why we can't assign the CUS. So view CUS activity history. If I go back on that uh, view CUS, so I can see that please select skill worker next. Now I'm looking for the CUS, which I have like, so CUS immigration, I see liable. So next now I'll try to find the CUS, which I have created, find an existing single CUS. 
click next. Now I'll provide the details. Without providing the details, you can't search the series. Now the mistake which we have done is we didn't provide it the work address. That is why we were not allowed to assign the CUS. So check the date, check the uh, salary, check the immigration salary list and check this, the work. So now we'll provide the work address. So it says that obviously you have the pre-selected work address so you can use the one which you have already used. And if you don't provide the work address, again, you are not allowed to assign the CUS. So now I'll try to do that after assigning the after putting the let me go check everything everything is correct okay so now i have assigned the cus because i've put the address that was the address which i was missing now it says the cus fees 239 immigration skill charge 546 total amount 785 pound so obviously that gets calculated according to your payment now it's asking for the continue with my payment i'll go back i'll put the details um now i'll just pay the fees and that's how you to the you assign the cus so if you're not getting the option of how like you know the assign option is not eligible for you you maybe don't have the allocation you may be putting the wrong digit in your salary like you're missing the decimals or you have not put the work address these are the common mistakes so if you have any questions regarding this video or any other video feel free to contact me watch all these videos on sponsorship management system which i have created all these videos will guide you how to use the sponsorship management system and if you get any problem you can always phone me book my appointment using this link in the description